Food waste can be described as the intentional discarding of edible items, which mostly take place in the developed countries. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, one-third of all the food produced for human consumption is wasted every year, equivalent to 1.3 billion. The problem of food waste puts an unnecessary strain on the environment due to the wasting of valuable resources, such as water and farmland. The implications of this problem are only going to get worse. The global population in 2050 is projected to demand 1.5 to 2 times more food than we needed in 2005. But that assumes current waste levels. Wasting less food can help stabilize food demand even as population grows. Food waste in the United Kingdom is a subject of environmental and socio-economic concern that has received widespread media coverage and been met with varying responses from government. Since 1915, food waste has been identified as a considerable problem and has been the subject of ongoing media attention, intensifying with the launch of the Love Food, Hate Waste campaign in 2007. Food waste is an issue that affects the world globally. In 2016, the Food Aid Foundation reported that Malaysians wasted almost 15,000 tons of food, including 3,000 tons of edible food, every day. Research states that 49% of the waste in landfills is made up of organic food waste. Whilst we are deeply concerned about the problem of plastic slowly filling up the earth, it only constitutes 14% of the trash. At the landfill, the food and yard waste that trash contains is decomposing and releasing methane, a greenhouse gas that's 28 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Landfill gas also contributes to smog, worsening health problems like asthma. According to the National Solid Waste Management Department JPSPN, food waste treatment in Malaysia includes possible conversion of food waste into useful resources such as fertilizer or compost, generating electricity from food waste or making alternative fuel from food waste. Food Waste Management Development Plan for Industry, Commercial, and Institution Sector of 2016 to 2026 is one of the steps taken by the department in order to achieve an efficient and effective food waste management. FWMDPICI is developed in line with Solid Waste Management Policy 2016 and Strategic Plan of National Solid Waste Management Department 2016-2020. Food Waste Conversion to Polylactic Acid Fiber PLA. Polylactic acid, or polylactide PLA, is a thermoplastic polyester with backbone formula, C3H402, which is a type of biopolymer. It is a thermoplastic aliphatic polyester and fully biodegradable consisting of renewable raw materials that has the same characteristics as polypropylene PP, polyethylene PE, and the well-known polystyrene PS. PLA naturally degrades when exposed to the environment in 47 to 90 days. PLA has become a popular material due to it being economically produced from renewable resources like freshwater and food in general. Polylactic acid conversion as a solution for food waste problem. Polylactic acid PLA, is thermoplastic aliphatic polyester synthesized from LRD lactic acid. Highly optical pure LRD lactic acid is necessary to obtain high crystalline polylactic acid, which leads to the high strength, chemical and heat resistances of the polymers. The process consists of three main steps which are lactic acid fermentation, lactic acid polymerization, and polylactic acid melt spinning. Lactic acid fermentation. To utilize food waste as fermentation feedstock, Aspergillus alamori and Aspergillus aurezi are two specific fungi that added to the waste. Enzymes are actively secreted by the fungi through solid-state fermentation. The solid, enzyme-rich fungal mashes are then thoroughly blended with the food waste and undergo hydrolysis in a bioreactor. This process hydrolyzes the waste producing a nutrient-rich fermentation feedstock. 
Bacteria consume the nutrient in the feedstock producing lactic acid during the fermentation. In order to recover the lactic acid from the fermentation broth, it is necessary to remove cell biomass and colored impurities. The broth is filtered and centrifuged about 30 minutes to remove the cell biomass. Colored impurities are absorbed by being mixed with activated carbon. The solution being concentrated by rotary evaporation at 60 degrees Celsius for two hours. This is followed by continuous extraction of the solution using ethyl acetate via sonication. The resultant solution is separated with organic phase and separatory funnel. Lactic acid is isolated from the ethyl acetate by distillation at 40 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Lactic acid polymerization. This process demonstrates that the lactic acid recovered from the fermentation broth is polymerized into polymer, PLA through ring opening polymerization. This research applies a novel catalytic method with zinc oxide nanoparticle dispersion as the catalytic and lactide synthesis. The lactide is synthesized by dehydration, oligomerization, and depolymerization. The lactide is then purified by recrystallization in ethyl acetate, and the precipitate is separated by vacuum filtration, and then dried in a vacuum oven. An oven drying in 40 degrees Celsius 100 pascals for 24 hours. Following lactic purification the PLA is synthesized by ring opening polymerization. By heating the lactide at 200 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes under nitrogen. PLA purification, precipitation. The last step involves purifying the PLA by precipitation in cold methanol. The precipitate is separated by vacuum filtration and is then allowed to dry in a vacuum oven at 40 degrees Celsius. This procedure produces high purity PLA with a relatively heavy molecular weight. The PLA obtained can be manufactured into fiber through melt spinning and can thus play a significant role in textile production.